Hey guys, it's Jonathan with jwaltphotography.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to import raw photos into Lightroom. A lot of people get really intimidated. They know they should shoot raw, but they're not exactly sure what to do with the raw files once they get them. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So the first thing that you're going to do, this is a step by step, you're going to learn everything. Take your memory card and plug it into your computer. You're going to open up Lightroom and if you haven't done this before, it will be blank, but since I've done it, you'll all see what I was working on last. And then I'm going to hit import. And from here, it's going to give me all the different sources. I want to look for the source of my Nikon D610, the card I just put in there. And it's going to give me the images that I have on there. I just took some images of my son and uh, lens, and that's all I got on there. Before I go ahead and hit just import on there, I'm going to go over to the side, and I'm going to go down to uh, a subfolder. And I'm going to put Lightroom Tutorial. This is going to let me keep everything organized and so I can find it down the road. You want to make sure that you do this when you start doing this. Because when you get 80, 100,000 photos in there, it can be really difficult to find stuff if you haven't labeled it correctly. So date format's correct. And then we're going to go in here. Um, we can do keywords on this. And I'm just going to do Lightroom uh, Tutorial raw photos so those are going to be my keywords so whenever I want to go look back for this I'll be able to find those now all I do is make sure that it's on the right hard drive that I have I'm using my pro photo one that I have back here I'm keeping that hard drive and it's going to go into the subfolder of Lightroom tutorial so now all I do is hit import as of this moment these are still digital negatives or they are still raw files depending on the type of camera would determine the actual file type of it but these are still raw files what this allows me to do and hit develop the develop module lets me edit the photo so if I want to change the exposure since I shot this in raw I got tons of stuff to work with as to where if JPEG you're not gonna get this type of uh, ability if I want to change my white balance or anything like that I can come in here and change my white balance so it looks different it's just a whole new world of editing whenever you shoot in RAW and you get to maintain that freedom because you have all the information uncompressed. So I'm just going to put this back to normal. We're not doing an editing in Lightroom video. We're just showing you how to get the photos there and then once you've got them there, what do you do with them? So now we've got this photo. Wonderful. It looks exactly how I want it to look. Here's how you turn it into a JPEG that is deliverable to a client. You go to File and then Export. Here it's going to allow you to do your different settings. So for instance, I'm going to put this into the subfolder, um, Lightroom Tutorial. From there, and I'm going to put it on my desktop. I can change where I want the location of it. That's up to you and how you organize your photos. And I'm, I'm not going to do any custom text or anything like that. For the file settings, this is where it's important. You want the image format to be JPEG. You can do it in any form you want to that you're going to be working with. I'm assuming you're watching this video because you want to know how to get it from RAW to JPEG. This is how you do it. Keep the color space sRGB so you can edit it in Light or uh, photo, Photoshop later if you want to and all the color profiles will look the same. Image sizing, I've got my res resolution at 300. You can put it at whatever you want. 72 is a good web size. 150 is a good print size. 300 is just... A ridiculous size that I use so I keep everything in there and then after export you can open it in Photoshop if you need to edit it further which I typically do that's where I apply watermarks or I do fine-tune editing but that's all I need to do right now and then I just hit export so what that did is I just took it from a raw file saved the information that I changed on it and now I have a file you can see up here in the top left now I have a file exporting to that folder and that file will be deliverable whenever I'm ready for it to, to go to a client. So now here I can go to Lightroom Tutorial and you can see now I've got untitled 7802 JPEG and if I do like a quick look or anything like that you can see now I have a file that is recognized by computers. So hopefully that gets you in the right direction. Hopefully you are more confident in doing this with your photos. It's a super simple process. So many people say shoot raw, shoot raw, shoot raw, get Lightroom, get Lightroom, get Lightroom. 
but not everybody is showing you how to do this. So I figured I'd take a step back. I know this intimidated me whenever I first started, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, you can check out the links in the description below on you can see how to sign up for Lightroom. The Lightroom Photoshop bundle is only 10 bucks a month. It's super worth it. They're always doing updates. They never cost money to do the updates on it, just the 10 bucks a month. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos for tips and tricks and Photoshop, Lightroom, all sorts of cool things, and have a good one.